Let's talk Florida State, one of the hottest teams making noise in June. We got a few key commits that have solidified their recruitment, a few big names trending in FSU's direction. I got on three Steve Wiltfong here to talk some Knowles recruiting. But first, FSU fans, make sure you are subscribed to the on three recruit channel. We talk FSU recruiting year round. Lock in, hit subscribe. All right, bring on Steve Wiltfong and Steve. We're going to start with a couple of the guys that have solidified their commitments. These are big. Solomon Thomas, Javian Hilson, Tramel Jones. What does it mean for the Seminoles to get these top recruits to kind of shut down their recruitments? Well, these are difference makers for Florida State top targets, guys that they prioritize, guys that they think can continue this run that they're on, 13-0, heading into the bowl game, ACC championship. Tremel Jones is having a heck of an offseason, coming off a fantastic junior year. He lit it up at the OT7 finals, had a really strong showing at the Elite 11 finals, and he's a guy that prospects want to play with. Solomon Thomas is the number one interior offensive lineman in the country. Those point-of-attack players of that talent don't grow on trees. LSU, Florida, Programs that tried hard to get the spatula out and flip, but Solomon Thomas staying true to his December verbal to Florida State. And then you talk about the way Florida State's recruiting the defensive line right now. Adam Fuller, defensive coordinator, has to be ecstatic with the talent coming in. Javian Hilson, he's the number four edge rusher in the country. Then you have Myron Charles and Kevin Wynn, two massive 300-plus pound defensive tackles that rank number nine and number 12, respectively, at the position, highly recruited, very disruptive, stout physical players. They look like SEC football players. They beat SEC programs, Texas for Charles, uh, Georgia for Kevin Wynn, and South Carolina for Kevin Wynn. These are big recruiting wins at the most important positions, quarterback, offensive line, defensive line. And then, Josh, they had the shocker last week. They go out and land C.J. Wiley, top 100 receiver yeah. from Milton, Georgia, Big time playmaker at a fantastic junior year in winning a state championship. He picked Florida State over LSU, where he's a legacy recruit, and Georgia. So the Seminoles are beating the right teams on the trail, which should translate, or what they're trying to translate that to is an extra win or two at the end of the season. Yeah. You know, between the CJ Wiley commitment and these guys solidifying and shutting down their recruitments, I think that's kind of the spark that FSU needed to get things going. Since then, we've seen Myron Charles commit Kevin Wynn, Chase Lofton. And then on Tuesday, we have four-star linebacker Tavian Wallace, one of the top uncommitted linebackers, not just in the South, but in the entire country. And this is a key battle that the Knowles have to win. It comes down to Georgia, Florida, and FSU. How do you read this recruitment as we're two days out? Yeah, terrific sideline and sideline player that's got some plus athleticism for a second level defender. My RPM is on Florida State. I have not heard anything to change that. Now, certainly Georgia, Glenn Schumann and company have been battling to keep him in state. Florida's the program he grew up rooting for, took a visit to see them and also took an official visit to Arkansas. But he's been extremely positive with Florida State this whole cycle. I felt like they've had the momentum for most of his process. Had another good visit to Tallahassee for his official visit. Now he's dotting eyes and crossing T's, still having dialogue with places like Georgia and Florida. But right now, I still like the Seminoles to close. Hey, they got that great defensive line. Tavian Wallace, he could come in and make a lot of tackles behind those disruptive players in front of him. All right. So if the big linebacker coming off the board is Tavian Wallace on Tuesday, there's a little appetizer on Monday. We have Zay Rainey Sale. He's announcing his decision July 1 on Monday, and it's going to be FSU or Washington. But He's from the state of Washington. So how much of a chance does FSU have to pull him out of the state of Washington? Yeah, and UCLA is a finalist too, Josh. Look, Florida State has led in this recruitment multiple times. But I talked to a source just before I hopped on with you. They think that he could be leaning towards staying in state to Washington. Yeah. I know that coming into the official visits, Florida State was well positioned. He's super high on the Seminoles, but Coach Fish and that new Washington staff has created an excitement around that program. So I would not be surprised if he ended up staying home, uh, but Florida State going to battle to the finish line there. All right, and then on July 4th, we have former UF commit, offensive lineman Peyton Joseph. Now, he's going to make his decision. It's either FSU or Memphis. I love where FSU sits. I think they pick him up. That will be another big uh, addition at a key position of need for the Seminoles. 
But I want to talk to you about a five-star, a five-star wide receiver named Kalik Lockett, who is coming down to his final decision. He took an OV to FSU, had great things to say, but do you think that the Seminoles have a legit shot to pull him out of the state of Texas? Well, no question. He had two really good visits to Florida State, one in the spring, then an official visit in the summer. Loves the offense, loves the way Florida State's producing receivers right now under Coach Norvell, and then just loves the culture around the program. What I'm hearing on Kalik Locker right now, though, is that Texas and Alabama have the edge as he goes into his decision mode. That does not mean that things can't still get jumbled up. He has not made a final decision at this point. But if you're asking me who are the odds on favorites, I look at Texas where my RPM is and I look at Alabama who had a really big needle moving visit earlier. Now Alabama's got a great shot to land Caleb Cunningham, the five-star receiver from Mississippi. I have that RPM to Alabama along with Chad Simmons. And then they could also land Derek Meadows, the number one player in Nevada. So uh, we'll see what happens with Khalid Lockett and his upcoming decision. Florida State is in the middle of that one, but I might like a couple others a little bit more. All right, FSU fans, tap in. Let us know how you're feeling. Comment section below. Is FSU legit player for Khalid Lockett? And who do you think the Knowles' next commitment will be? Let us know. Comment section below.